What is up my friends, how's it going and welcome back to the 17th episode of our Let's Play series as Pathia with your fellow comrades summary. In the previous episode we managed to push out the Ptolemies from the Arabian Peninsula giving all of the Arabian Peninsula to our satrapy Muscat after they had lost all of it to the Ptolemies. As of now the Ptolemies just have a singular army in the Arabian Peninsula and they are a little bit south of Charmutas. However, we do have Horde 8 Italia with a mercenary army defending the city and discouraging the Egyptians from attacking us. Meanwhile, we had also pushed and conquered Egypt away from the Ptolemies. We have disbanded our faction leader and we have completed recruiting him in the turn between turns. And he is making his way with Horde 1 Parthia up to the north towards Samander. I do not trust the Bosphorans. They have three armies over here and about just three settlements. Of course they have Samander, Dakes and up here in the north they do have Ra as well. And we're going to give all of it to our satrapy, the Basilikoi Scythii. Speaking of the Basilikoi Scythii, we had faced the Bosphorans in a war which they lost their entire Bosphoran holdings as well as Saracena and we gave all of it to our vassal, the Basilikoi Scythii. Meanwhile, we also took out the Mao Tai and we have given Tanais as well to our vassal. Meanwhile, Army 1 Parthia is making its way back to defend Saracena from the Bosphoran Kingdom just in case they decide to attack. The other army, Army 3 Syria, is slowly making its way towards Macedonia. And in Mesopotamia, we do have Army 4 Italia that is fully recruited up or a siege-based army and will also make its way to Pella. Meanwhile, we have marched Horde 6 Asia down towards Ptolemais Tehran and we had just fended off two Egyptian stacks. And they weren't full stacks, they were fairly easy stacks. And what I am going to do over here is I am quickly going to steal the income over here, try to convert this province into our Parni culture. Keep in mind we are also at war with the Kushites who I intend to subjugate and give them the province or the region of Aksum as well. However, the objective of this episode would be to completely wipe off the Ptolemids from the face of the map as well as conquer the last two settlements in Arabia which is Marib and Eudemon. And if we can also conquer Scythia away from the Archebosporus and give it to our vassal, the Basilikoi Scythii, as stated earlier. However, without any further ado, let us quickly move towards Ptolemy Tehran. Select our army, go ahead and attack the settlement. The auto resolve is sort of kind of favorable, and we do need to sit in this town for a couple of turns. So I am gonna go ahead auto resolve it as usual. We lose a lot of our cataphract units with the auto resolve. However, I'm just gonna peacefully occupy the settlement, quickly turn off the taxes over here, and uh, hopefully our dignitaries will be able to convert the province. Next up, I would also like to move uh, horde horde four Syria towards the province of uh, or the region of Medevi so I will go ahead and move them down towards Medevi once a uh, horde 8 Italia can no longer be required over here we can disband him and start recruiting him in Parthva as well meanwhile horde 7 Egyptos is finally recruiting up its horde based army so we should have about a couple of horde based armies as well as a siege based army up north here in Scythia and I believe that's all that we will require in order to deal with the Bosphoran Kingdom. However, as you can see our economy is doing fantastic, fabulous indeed. Uh, with the exception of of course uh, Ekbatana and Mada, the province will be slowly repurposed into a regular province once I have built up entirely over here in Egypt. Speaking of Egypt, we can go ahead and upgrade some of the buildings, so I am going to go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, we could attack Paratonian, um, to Paratonian. Uh, however, we do not have enough garrison in Alexandria, which means this Egyptian fleet that is in the Sea of Egypt 
and decide to attack Alexandria so I'm gonna have to wait a couple of turns before I can go ahead and push the offensive into Libya. The good news is I do have some dignitaries already stationed within the province. We are going to move the final dignitary into the province as well. And it is helping convert the province of Libya. So hopefully if the province is completely converted, it should make our invasion of Libya a lot easier. However, without any further ado, let us quickly jump into our politics. And as you can see, all the other parties are fairly loyal. Meanwhile, we can upgrade some of our characters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also, I can go ahead and marry off some of our other characters. We do have a historical character, Arsakis 5. However, he is dependent, which is not a good trait. Worst case scenario, in case Arsakis dies, Yaxares becomes the ruler, after which Yaxares, Arsakis V becomes the ruler. And uh, we don't really have to worry about Arsakis V. I don't think he will be ruler in this campaign because we... We have just a few episodes left. We are in the 17th episode and we have about 8 episodes after this to complete our objectives before I go ahead and start a new campaign. However, it seems that politics is all fine for now. So I am going to go ahead and the turn and I will see you all in the future when I am ready to take on my foes. Basically, that will be... Just quickly upgrade this character over here. That will be the Kushites as well as, of course, our invasion into Libya. And also, of course, our invasion into Skithi. Uh, Arke Bosphorus held Skithi up. Welcome back to the future. We are quickly going to check our provinces. Some of them have upgraded and have grown. Quickly run through all of them. Everything seems to be fine. And... What has happened during the end turn is that the Bosphoran Kingdom actually declared war upon us. And uh, that is quite interesting. Oh, over here, we could just build the manufacturing industry. I'm going to go ahead and build both of the industrial buildings over here. Egypt, meanwhile, slowly is building up to be the province I desire it to be. Meanwhile, over here, going to convert all of these buildings, dismantle the rest plan is to build some temples. As you can see, our army has sort of kind of replenished. We are going to move Horde 6 or Horde 4 Syria down towards Aksum. The objective is to conquer Aksum, taking out the last Egyptian or Ptolemyd held province in our region. In the, in the province, sorry. The last Ptolemyd held region in the province. And uh, <laughs> yeah twist of the tongue tends to happen All right meanwhile our dignitaries are slowly converting the province of libya to our own culture alexandria's garrison is looking quite decent however i'm not sure if this uh, fleet can still attack so i am going to hold back a bit looking up to the problem area up north we can see the bosphorans do have a couple of armies actually three armies in the region we can just circumvent all of them and attack Sarmander. We are going to go ahead and do that. I could auto-resolve it. However, I believe I can reinforce with this other army, which should make the auto-resolve a lot more favorable. Now the auto-resolve is crazy favorable, 97%. We should hardly take any losses. And I am going to peacefully settle... And as you can see, the third army has now been revealed unto us. Quickly gonna go ahead, turn off the taxation. All of these armies can't really move that much. With the exception, of course, of this army. This army is kind of isolated from the rest. So if it uh, stays that way, we are going to try our level best to engage them. Meanwhile, up here in the north, I don't want to be close enough to those armies. I want to go up as north as possible. As north as north can go. And it seems like they can't reach me. And the goal is to take army one Parthia towards day. As it is a wall settlement, so we will need to conquer it with our siege-based army. Our other siege-based armies are slowly making their way towards Macedonia. Let's quickly have a look at where they are. And I believe one should be here. Perfect. 
So we are going to keep moving them towards Pella. Meanwhile, the other one is over here in Mesopotamia. We are going to go ahead and move him as well. Quick look at our politics. All of our other parties are quite loyal, in fact. We are going to go ahead and... Uh, check up on our characters so far our characters are all looking fine we don't have any bastards that have come of age some characters are nearly getting that 20 gravitas so they can get married let's go ahead and do that meanwhile we can also improve the abilities of uh, Arsicus the fifth wife and uh, we are improving her authority as well as her zeal excellent and as you can see we are 985,000 gold in the bank while we are making a hundred and ten thousand per turn so in the next turn we should be millionaires so anyways with that i think i can go ahead end the turn and i will see you all in the future once again when i am either ready to take out Aratonian, Ammonium, and of course uh, Axum as well. And once we take out Axum, they do have an army up north over here. We can focus on the Kushites. Taking out the Kushites would be key. And uh, in order to do that, we could actually just simply march Army 2 Mesopotamia down there. However, the plan will be rather to kind of conquer both the settlements, Axum Ptolemy's Tehran, and then Pinsa Medevi, like so, and then conquer the settlement with an easy auto-resolve. However, with that, I am going to go ahead, end the turn, and I will see you all in the future. Welcome back to the next turn. We have completed a research, and we are researching for this elephant training, and then finally we will get the Master Armorer. And uh, since we have uh, completed that, we can upgrade our weaponsmith. Meanwhile, the Bosphorans have moved towards Sirisena, so they should be able to attack it. However, I do believe our army can catch up to them, hopefully. Yes, so our general, our leader, can catch up to him. So let's go ahead, do that, and we will hop into this battle should be quite an interesting battle against the Bosphorans and I will see you all in the battle. Welcome to the battle. We have begun with our standard deployment. Gonna quickly move our boss archers ahead. Get our cataphracts into position as well. General in the rear. And uh, one of the bonuses of fighting battles in Scythia for our faction is that it is full of uh, step lands, so that's actually really ideal for Hoss Archer armies. I'm gonna slowly move. The enemy believes to hold the high ground, but once I get my Hoss Archers in range, they should abandon their, their position and try to get close to me. Try to give chase, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to fast forward here. get our troops a little bit in range and now that the enemy is moving we are going to slow down the battle and the Bosphoran army over here is not really that elite however it at the same time is nothing to scoff at they, are, they do have a lot of troops so we're gonna have to fight this quite well meanwhile I am going to pull back my left uh, my right flank as they do have some heavy shock cavalry Get our camels over there to assist our right flank. Meanwhile, the enemy doesn't look too keen on giving chase, with the exception, of course, of this cavalry unit. Heavy shock cavalry should take some casualties from our horse archers, but we are going to move our horse archers up front since they are now protected by our own camel cataphracts. 
The Kamakarbrax are pushing behind so we are not going to follow up and give chase. Instead we are slowly going to squeeze around the enemy unit. Force them to get into an engagement with us. And that will be the play. Want to move up our other cataphracts closer, our general as well. And now our units, our units on the left flank is busy firing at the enemy general. Meanwhile, these missile peltas, we are going to make them run away, get some shots into their backs. Quite useful. Meanwhile, these camels should throw a javelin as well. And we are going to pull them back. They have done their job. Scared off the enemy unit. There's no need to get it too close. Camel and a camel cataphracts a little bit over here. You can see their light shock units coming closer. So we are going to pull a little bit behind. Make sure that we kind of can line up for the charge against them. Since they are actually light shock cavalry, they should be able to reach us a lot faster than their spearmen can. And with that, we should be able to charge into them. Our camel cataphracts will do a ton of damage. We are quickly going to redirect our camel cataphracts to intercept the heavy shock unit. And the heavy shock unit taking a bunch of damage from our javelins. Camels are trying to catch up to them. Camels are slower, but they have managed to catch up. And with that, <laughs> the heavy shock cavalry has been taken care of. Move our camel cataphracts. Quick look of what's going on over here in group 2. Group 2 seems to be doing fine. And so we are going to move group 3 up as well. Go ahead, charge group 5 into those units. Move group 4 closer. And there. With the shift key we can issue yet another order. Try to get all of these guys close enough to deal with the enemy units on top of this hill. I was really confident that they would abandon their hill. However, they do seem to stick to it. But that shouldn't be much of a problem because it will allow our own horse archer units to kind of deal with them quite easily. Quickly move our cataphracts to the other side. The camels can go ahead and chase down these units. Beautiful looking units. So one of my favorite units. So unique really. Meanwhile these units over here have been charged by a very heavy shock cavalry. We didn't see that coming. However, we have dealt with them. Go ahead, get my camel cataphracts around the enemy unit. Some of the enemy front line is wavering and they will soon break. Which means I can't technically charge with these units. Go ahead, charge the enemy general as well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get up group 2 over here. Group 3, pull back. You've done quite well on that charge. Taking care of the enemy general. Now we are slowly going to squeeze these units. And keep in mind, every battle we fight, we can't really replenish over here. So that is going to be a bit of an issue. However, we can weaken the Bosphoran position and make it easier for our satraps to deal with them. Turning in our favor. Go ahead, charge this unit. Camel cataphracts can charge over there. Keep pulling our right and left flank behind. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And with that, we have won the battle. I am going to chase down these troops. 
and I will see you all in the campaign once I am done routing out the maximum of these enemy units. And with that we have defeated this boss phone stack, it just has a couple of units, we are going to go ahead and slave all the captives. We can pursue them, and I believe we should actually pursue them. But let's go ahead and pursue them. If the auto resolve is at 100, it's at 99, I'm okay with that. So down goes that army. And we can go ahead and just <laughs> enslave all the captives. Now we want to move closer to our allies. And Saracena doesn't have a very good garrison, so we could get attacked by both of these armies. That's going to be a little bit problematic. Meanwhile, this army really can't reach us, so that is quite beneficial. What we can do is actually move up our army over here, Horde 5 Syria. Take a risk, go ahead, attack Ra, and we are going to move our army to attack Dakes. Should reach there in like a couple of turns. Meanwhile, since we have dealt with the situation in the north, let's have a quick look at the situation in the south. Can attack this Egyptian army, and it will be a quite difficult battle. However, I am willing to fight it. And meanwhile, even the Kushites have moved their massive army to engage our army that is stationed in Ptolemaeus Theron. And we will have quite an interesting fight during the end turn. Because if we defeat this army, then we have an advantage of securing the Kushites as a satrapy. Meanwhile, over here, I think I might just go ahead and attack the Egyptians. Auto resolve isn't all that good. Their army also isn't all that good, so I am going to quick save over here, jump into the battle, and I will see you all in the battle. Welcome to the battle. We are going to begin our standard deployment with horse archer armies. Really quickly get our cataphracts up front. We've already toggled on that guard mode for our horse archers. We are going to fast forward a bit over here. And it is going to be quite a long battle. They do have a lot of reinforcements. Our hidden units are and we are now in range, so we can begin attacking the enemy units. And with that, they should try to push our into units our own units. Covered. They are a little bit hidden. Okay, meanwhile, the enemy is attacking from the left flank, so we're going to have to quickly react to that. I don't want to waste my ammunition on archer unit so i am going to pull back a little bit and while our cataphracts over here can kind of move closer to the enemy units Our hidden units have been discovered. go ahead and charge them if we can Meanwhile, a general can inspire the entire army. Pull back. Both of our units. Our general is under attack. Move our cataphracts out of there. We take a bit of casualties from that. Hmm. Meanwhile, we have managed to rout out these units. So bring up our other army close by. Get our cataphracts out of there. They have done well. Meanwhile, our other, our other left flank seems to be having a bit of an issue, not too much. We are going to go ahead and the Egyptians busy burning their own troops. Go ahead, charge at this Jav Cav unit, pull back. This cav unit should get absolutely destroyed. There's no way they're going to deal with our cataphracts. Meanwhile, force group 2 to keep hitting those units. Don't want any friendly fire if I can afford it. We have discovered the Move enemy's back. Hidden units. Keep moving back. Move our cataphracts behind as well. Our cataphracts over here on the left flank have dealt with the enemy units. So they can begin to encircle. 
and try to take out some of their archer units behind. I'm gonna move my general behind. Group 3 can move, group 2 can move, general come behind. Group 4 seems to be doing fine. The Califax can go ahead and charge over there. Group 2, group 1, general quickly inspire everyone. Group 4 turn around, group 3 come back. Califax on the right flank can also pull back. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Forward. Quick look at the cataphracts on the left flank. They are doing quite good here. Should soon be able to route out these enemy archers. They do have 200 archers per unit. That is insane, actually. We, we are going to charge them into the other unit as well. Since this unit is already wavering. Meanwhile, group 3 can keep pulling behind. Group 2, how are you doing? We are gonna move you like so. Group 4, you're doing fine. Move you up close. Move our cataphracts behind, further behind. Keep moving. It's group 5 that's in a bit of a situation over here. They're getting shot from all directions. What we need to do is just move into these archer units individually. Group 4, you can assist over there. Meanwhile, group 3 spread out this way. General can move behind, inspire everyone you can. We are nearly dealing with all of the enemy archer units, so that is great. Wonderful. Group 3, I want you to keep pulling behind. Keep pulling behind group 2 as well. General as well. Group 4, you've done quite well to get rid of these units. Group 5. Well, group 3 is getting attacked over here by this horse unit. Group 2, you're doing quite well. You have just a little ammunition left. Group 4 has the maximum amount of ammunition remaining. 5 can keep moving up. Go ahead, attack that archer unit. Done well. Group 4, come back into the fight. Wonderful. This archer unit should quickly rout before the enemy spear units can engage. We're going to quickly hit that JK, pull out all of our horsemen from that engagement. Quick look of what's going on in group 3. Group 3 is doing well, meanwhile. Group 2 also seems to be doing fine. Group 3 is almost done using all his ammunition. We're going to pull the general out of there, group 2 as well. Wonderful. And now we're going to have to deal with this hoplite unit. And we can charge at him from multiple directions. So let's go ahead and do that. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Smack. Good. Right in the backs. And uh, meanwhile over here we're going to move our units around. Quickly move these units here as well. Go ahead move these couple of units here. You can stay here. Come on. Quickly encircle this enemy unit. Go ahead, give chase. Move back group 5 actually. A couple of these units can move behind. Keep moving out. Okay, we should surround something over here. Let's go ahead and attack them. Meanwhile, group 2, you can go ahead, attack this unit, general, inspire everyone. 
our cataphracts up here have been called out. Group 4 go ahead, attack over there. Group 5 you're going to attack the general as well. Take the general out of this fight. Group 3 has done well against that unit. Meanwhile this unit over here can go ahead and attack with the Group 3 will be able to route this enemy cav unit as well. Quite easily. Wonderful. Group 2, you're going to go ahead and charge into the backs over here. Enemy general is done and dealt with. Quickly move our cataphracts over here. I'm going to deal with this unit actually. Group 3, get into position. General can go ahead and charge this unit in the back. Oh, get out. Just a couple of uh, of ammunition left for group 4. Meanwhile, group 2 is done with this unit. We're going to pull him out. And we do want to surround these units as best as we can. So this angle seems to be good. So we can surround the units from all directions if we possibly can. Go ahead, group 2. You can attack here. Group 3, go ahead. Attack from this direction. And these pikemen should have absolutely no clue of what to do. The ones on this side did face in the correct direction. However, they are getting hit from all sides. Move our cataphracts out of there. Get the other cataphracts here. These cataphracts can form up like so. Group 4 can get you into position like this. Group 3... One of our units group 2 go ahead, mission. group 3 come this way. Couple of you come this way, couple of you come this way. Perfect. And we are gonna go ahead and move our troops behind. And over here we have completely surrounded the enemy. So go ahead, charge at these enemy units. Should absolutely get destroyed, both of them. Go ahead, keep hitting that unit. You have engaged over here so we can move our cataphracts as well. We are done wiping out that unit, so we're going to move group 2 over here, group 3 over here quickly. This unit should also route very quickly. General can go ahead and attack those units. I am going to fast forward over here. The battle is in its final phase. Group 2. Group 3 can go ahead and attack this unit. Group 2 can also go ahead and attack this unit from multiple directions. Pull back group 2. Pull back group 3. Done quite well over here. Meanwhile, group 4 can prepare to encircle this unit. Group 2, pull out. Group 3, pull out. Wonderful. General can come closer again. And pull groups. Okay, okay, go ahead. Attack this unit from this side. Trying to face us. We are going to attack him from the back. Meanwhile, this unit looks to move towards there. And take a couple of these units, go ahead, attack here. And a couple of units over here. As you can see, both of these units should route as well as this unit over here. And with that, we should, should turn the battle significantly in our favor. We are going to hunt down as many units as we can. And I will see you all in the campaign. Alright, we have managed to kill the Egyptians. There's just a single skirmisher left. We are going to go ahead, peacefully occupy the settlement for that replenishment. Wonderful. And with that, the Egyptians have been kicked out of uh, the province of Ethiopia. Meanwhile, we have opened a second avenue of attack at Medevi. And if we can rush and get the settlement, then we pretty much don't even have to completely de destroy these armies. 
could go ahead and attack these units however it's not the best idea i think the best idea would be to stay within this settlement meanwhile a quick look of what we have here in medevi wonderful all right and with that i think i can go ahead and end the turn but i am also going to level up the settlements within egypt quickly have a look at all of my other settlements Hit that space bar to move around quickly. And it seems with that I can go ahead and end the turn. But very quickly I do believe we have an army over here that we can move. And we are going to move him down towards Egyptos. Or actually we can move him down towards Sharmutas. Meanwhile let's have a look at this faction over here it is at war with muscat and uh, they could possibly take out yathrib that is a danger indeed yathrib has quite good garrison actually so i doubt this army will be able to take them out let's go ahead end the turn and i will see you all in the future when i am ready to deal with the bosphorans take out dakes take out ra deal with these couple of armies over here it's not going to be easy they might attack me in the end turn and if they do i will play that battle and the same with the kushites as well welcome to the future a couple of our characters have died and thankfully none of our governor generals meanwhile leader of this uh of this army as well has died so that is unfortunate news However, the good news is that one of our horde ba uh, sorry, siege-based army is making its way back towards Pella, is finally reaching Pella. And soon enough, we will be able to transfer over the champion to this army. Meanwhile, down here in the south, our second army has managed to circumvent the Medevi. We are going to go ahead and attack. It's quite an easy auto-resolve, so I am going to auto-resolve this one. We have lost a cataphract unit, and I am going to go ahead and subjugate the Medevi. Fantastic. Takes out all our factions, uh, attack from them. Meanwhile, I could march my army horde for Syria all the way to Partava, and that would take forever. So instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to try to attempt to move him towards Ptolemy's Teron. And disband him over there and then i will recruit him once more in Athava. meanwhile over here we do have an egyptian stack that is outside the settlement and over here we can go ahead and attack this port and if we do that then we will get rid of their admiral let's go ahead and do that real quick the auto resolve looks horrible However, we could just attack this army now. We're going to come all the way this way. And then we're going to push him. He will retreat towards Egypt. And now we should get pretty much everyone in on this. This is great. And so we have a good auto resolve. We're going to take it. And we're going to enslave all of those Egyptians. And with that, we have dealt with that army what we are going to do is quickly pull back and we are going to quickly pull back with this army as well and once um we're going to just stay close by entice our subjects to to take the city we won't help them of course and once they weaken the city in the next turn we can kind of push for paratonian meanwhile let's have a quick look at all of our settlements everything seems to be going well Can upgrade this into a stables. Wonderful. Meanwhile, we have another army which is making its way as well towards Pella. Also has a champion in that army. Meanwhile, up here in the north. Fortunately, by the looks of it. It seems like we could attack this army and that might pull out the garrison from Dakes as well as this army it's gonna be a very tough battle I'm not gonna lie because it is a 20-man garrison 
However, I think we might have the advantage over here. Let's meanwhile move the other army up towards. It has taken a bit of winter attrition. There's no avoiding that. We can move him up towards Ra. And over here, as you can see... Slowly but surely, our Royal Scythian subjects are entering into the battle as well and should be able to deal with these two armies fairly easily after that. And uh, I don't know if I want to attack this army. I think I should. Do have a bunch of elephants and some really good hoplite units. And do you know what? I am actually going to go ahead and attack this army. They're going to be massively outnumbered over here, but we do have extremely superior quality troops. So let's go ahead, quick save over here. I'm going to jump into the battle and I will see you all in the battle. Alright, welcome to the battle. We are going to move all of our troops up ahead. And we are going to try to engage the enemy units. Enemy reinforcements. Quick march all of them into position. We're going to use artillery to hit those units over there. Meanwhile, we can select the remainder of the army, keep pushing it forward. Get our archers into the battle as well. Toggle on that guard mode. What we want to do is somehow capture this settlement or this fortification. And if we can accomplish that, then that'll be great. So what I am going to do is I am going to move group five into. There we go. Keep moving group five into the. Uh, we are going to fast forward over here, move up our archers as well. Go ahead, take that fort from the enemy. They are abandoning it. Hurry up, some hoplite unit over here can quickly form up. Perfect. And then we are going to put each of our legionaries on to capturing the towers hopefully they can get into hoplite phalanx formation while well, we can move our archers horse archers behind Want to move our elephants as well into the fighting. Quickly move up our Spartans. They're taking a significant amount of damage over here. And I don't... Oh, it's because of artillery. We're going to stop artillery. Go ahead, charge these units with our cavalry. They are out of the fight. Elephants over here, doing a good job. Keep attacking that unit. We have captured a tower. Our general is under attack. Wonderful. Excellent. We do have a lot going on over here. Gonna move our general as well. Tower. Capturing all the towers, which is great. Go ahead, block this entrance with both of these units. One of our units has used Elephant the units can pull behind. Hurry up. Don't take any casualties, please. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We are going to move these swordsmen behind. 
these ones over here can come here make sure you capture those towers these elephant units can go ahead charge into that unit try to get it out of the battle as quickly as possible go ahead charge into the other unit as well just keep ignoring it move across them they do take casualties as our elephants keep moving keep spamming that movement order Cavalry is done well over here. We're going to pull them behind. Elephants keep moving. Go ahead. Go in that direction. One of our units has used all Elephants have taken a few casualties. Go ahead. Our general can charge over there. Meanwhile, the hoplites are doing good. We can charge with the Nicene cavalry over here. General has done well over there. Nicene and Cavalry over here are doing quite well. Go ahead, charge into that Dermisher unit. Actually, I want you to charge into this unit. A quick look at our elephants. Started to take a bit more casualties. We are going to move them away. Get our general over here. Really need to move our elephants out of there. Quite in a dangerous situation. Meanwhile, these go ahead attack over here. Get our generals out of there. General, go ahead, attack that unit. And we can charge our elephants into the backs over here. Go ahead, move our Nicene cavalry out. Get our archers somewhere over here. General can go ahead, attack over there as well. All our swordsmen can go ahead, attack as well. The enemy general is dead. Elephants are taking a bit of casualties. We are going to just simply rally, although we are quite far from that. Go ahead, charge our Nicene cavalry into those Gurmisha cavalry. And this time we get a good charge off them, so they should lose decisively. Meanwhile, over here, elephants have dispatched the enemy units. We are going to send our elephants to assist over there. Get all of our swordsmen into one group. Nicene cavalry has done well. Going to pull them behind. And now it's Spartan hoplites to hold the lines. General is taking some casualties. Want to charge as much as we can into that unit. Meanwhile, our swordsmen can come here and around in an attempt to flank. Go ahead, charge in our Nicene cavalry. Bring forth our Morian archers. This was never going to be a decisive battle because of the fact that uh, we are severely outnumbered. However, we are in a really good position for now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Go ahead, move our Nicene Cav out of there. Get our swordsmen to hit that spear unit. Bring our general up close as well. Elephants can charge into the rear of that unit. Nicene Cavalry, I want you to move our archers behind. Get our Nicene Cavalry out as well. General can go ahead, charge. Meanwhile, our elephants can also charge. That should rout the unit. Perfect. Bring our elephants around. What we want to do is charge with our Nicene Cavalry into that melee unit. Get our swordsmen into the fighting as well. Some Spartan hoplites are starting to take a little bit of damage. Meanwhile, this unit is nearly routed. Perfect. Keep moving our Nicene cavalry back. We want to keep cycle charging as much as we can.
Let's go ahead, attack this unit, pull our elephants in to deal with them. I see in cavalry keep moving away from the battle. And our general can go ahead, attack over here. Elephants, you're going to attack this unit in the back. The battle is turning in our favor. Move our elephants out of there. Get our swordsmen to pin down these troops. Elephants keep moving out or you are going to take damage. I see and Cav can go ahead charge into this melee unit. Get our archers as well. Wonderful. And with that we have won the battle. But I am going to chase down the enemy because I do want an easy siege after this. And I will see you all in the campaign. Alright, we have defeated that army, taken out a sizable chunk of the garrison. We are going to go ahead and slave all the captives. We can pursue this enemy once more. This time it should be an easy auto-resolve. We are going to auto-resolve this one. Get rid of everyone, pretty much. And uh, yeah, after that we can peacefully just occupy the settlement of Dakes. And we won't even have to lay siege to it. What we are going to do is simply occupy the settlement so that we get some replenishment rate. Not the best, but any replenishment rate will do good. What we can do is also move towards Aktau, our own province, which will help our replenishment rate. And with that, I think I am ready to go ahead and end the turn, and I will see you all in the future when I am ready to finally wipe out the Egyptians over here. Meanwhile, in the south, I also have an army that is slowly making his way towards Udemon. Go ahead, hire a spear unit as well as some camels. And hopefully, this army lost against Yathrib, which is great. Yathrib uh, garrison has taken some damage. However, this is quite good for us because we can attack Udemon and then march up north after we take out Udemon, march up north to take out Marib. However, with that, I am going to go ahead and end the turn, and I will see you all in the future. Welcome back to what I believe could be the final turn of this episode. Meanwhile, up here in the north, our Scythian vassals have dealt with both Bosphoran armies, and uh, that is quite good. Meanwhile, we are taking a bit of attrition up here. We are going to move back to Samander for this turn, replenish up over here, and then we are going to kind of uh, give the entire province of Scythia to our vassals. Meanwhile, we are moving our army up north to Ra. We are going to sit in Dakes for a while. And uh, nothing much to do up here in the north. Uh, our Scythian vassals have done all that they can. And uh, meanwhile, down here in the south, we can march Horde 8 Italia. And I wonder if I can declare war. Just quickly going to check all our vassals and if they like us. And it's just the Kush that doesn't like us. So we are going to improve the relationships with the Kush. To be by Wonderful. By the flame, you offer little, but Gifts they, given to the Kush. Am I Fine. To be by Wonderful. They are neutral now. Greetings. Let us use our and we are going to just simply ask Muska to join the war, actually. We got the Kush on happy. So let's go ahead and move our army up close. And now we can ask the Muska to join the war against. The pleasures of my household are yours to enjoy. First, though, and they'll pay me for it, which is great. Wonderful. And we can see over here if we can get any of these factions to join the war against the Chatra Motai. join the war against Chatra Motai. <laughs> I'm really butchering the name over here let's see they've accepted wonderful go ahead payments for you wonderful join the war against the Chatra Motai. you accept the hake my Join the war against the Chatri Motitai. You, you also accept Pontus as well. Greetings. We Just going to give you a payment first so you to improve you your opinion of us. You, I accept. You're still on neutral. 
I need to give you a little bit more payment as well. Get you to a friendly status. And you can join the war against the Chatra Motitai. I will pay you for it. And there's no big deal about paying these factions to join the war. It does make them quite friendly towards us. So it's actually worth it when you're playing with vassals. Make them join your wars this way rather than declaring wars directly. And if you declare wars directly, then you do stand a risk of, uh, you know, making them break off from you. Wonderful. And finally, even the Scythians, we can get you to join the war against the Chatri Motitai. And uh, we will pay you for it. Wonderful. Meanwhile, in Ethiopia, our army over here can move towards Ptolemy Steron. Go ahead and disband all the units. Give all of the population in there. That is perfect. Wonderful. Meanwhile, this unit is starting to take some attrition. We are going to move towards Aksum. Stay close enough to the settlement so that we can transfer it to the Kush. Wonderful. And the reason being is because once we take out the Egyptians over here, we did not attack Paraton, uh, Paritonian. And we pretty much just allowed our Armenian vassals to kind of soften up the city. Don't have much time left in the episode, so we are going to try our level best to auto-resolve this quick save over here. Hopefully we don't lose any cataphract units. And we lost one. That is such a terrible shame. And we are going to simply occupy the settlement. Wonderful. Go ahead, turn off the taxes. We are nearly, nearly there to achieving... I'm going to dismantle this building, perhaps build a horse building over here. We are almost uh, there to wiping out the Egyptians. What I am actually going to do is just hack this settlement. As it is, I will have to disband this army, losing all of its cataphracts. Go ahead, simply occupy it. And we have wiped out the Ptolemies with that. That is a spot of luck. Go ahead, quickly uh, disband this army as well wonderful okay so we have disbanded a couple of armies go ahead repair all of these settlements expand over here we have completed some technology so we are going to go ahead and research portion techniques wonderful meanwhile a quick look at all our provinces everything seems to be fine and since the Egyptians are actually wiped out, what we could do is we could go ahead and sell this province to the Kushites without any fear. And we can start to move forward 6 Asia, up towards Asia really. They are going to take part in helping against the Romans. Meanwhile, our character over here is doing quite well. Can... And I'm not entirely sure if there's an army somewhere over here. I did manage to spot one. But I, once again, I'm not entirely sure. So I am actually going to go ahead and end this turn. See you in the next turn. Wrap it up a little bit. And uh, hopefully go ahead, get some of these trades. And hopefully we should be able to... You know, just sort out our provinces a little bit better. Meanwhile, we do have Horde Egyptos getting closer as possible to Egypt. So that is good. And replace them over here. And we can reinstate two armies. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Give them a both of our Arsicid dynasties. Horde 3 Mesopotamia. Go ahead. Tune there. And uh, can improve some of your abilities. Give you some ammunition as well. Start recruiting up some troops. Wonderful. And we can even reinstate the other legacy. 
House of Mehran, Arsakid Dynasty, reinstate the legacy of Horde, fix Syria. Wonderful. Deploy him in there. Go ahead. And we are going to recruit up the same army. Wonderful. And with that, I think I am ready to go ahead in the turn. But before I do that, we are going to attack Udemon. The auto resolve is horrible. However, I am going to auto resolve this one. Not a big deal. Go ahead and just simply loot the settlement. And I wonder if this army could march down and attack me they could however i can get a couple more mercenaries and mercenaries should be quite good because they are easy to replenish meanwhile this is a horde based army so we do have to get those horde skills however i am going to take a little bit of the replenishment rate as well after which uh, hopefully in the next turn we should be able to attack marib All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. All right, welcome back to the final turn. Some daughters have come of age. We are going to quickly check our politics. Make sure that all of the bastards are taken care of. Seems like all of the bastards are taken care of. We are going to go ahead and marry off the characters who can be married. As you can see, our economy is doing really strong. We are over 1.3 million and we can go ahead and attack the settlement of Ra as well, which we are going to auto resolve. Go ahead and peacefully occupy the settlement. Should be able to replenish in this turn and with that it seems like we have ended the war with the Bosphorans. The Archibosphorus is over here, but they are here. They shouldn't be able to reach me. Uh, in Dakes. Meanwhile, in Dakes, we have fully replenished as well, so I no longer need that. I can just simply move them towards Samander. And what I am going to do is I'm going to give Dakes to the Scythians. And meanwhile, over here, Horde 1 under our faction leader can make his way towards Pella as well. And we are going to get ready to attack the Romans. Move army for Italia. Towards Pella. Wonderful. And we can move this champion. Perhaps move a little bit towards Epidamnos rather. Perfect. So everything in the north seems to be fine. I mean, this army shouldn't be much of a threat. Um, they are going to deplete really quickly. Our horde-based army over here should be able to pick it off quite easily. Meanwhile, what we could do is we could set the Archibosphorus army as a target. Seems we can't. Alright, never mind. And uh, quick look up what's going on in the Arabian Peninsula. Seems like Muscat has kind of lost against that army. Our army over here is meanwhile not capable of taking them on. What we are going to do is actually move Horde 7 Egyptos towards Sharmutas. And we are slowly going to attempt to reach Marib. And if we do reach Marib then that will be good news for us. Put him in the city, meanwhile. Very quickly over here, we are going to move our other army, Horde 6 Asia, towards Macedon as well. Quick look at our provinces. Everything seems to be going quite well. Wonderful. Alright, we can move our dignitaries even closer towards the Roman settlements. Spy as well can move up. Deploy him. Kyrene or Jilla are undefended. So that is good news. Uh, we should be able to push into Africa quite easily. However, this army over here can move back towards Alexandria in order to replenish. Perfect. 
Meanwhile, these armies can get their original leaders, Hall 3 Mesopotamia. Getting, of course, our factionaire, who is Yaxaris. And this one over here getting our other general. Right, Basha. Go ahead, hire him as well. Wonderful. And with that, I think we are ready to end the episode. Just a quick look at our economy. And amongst other things, as you can see in Alexandria, we can upgrade once again. Quick look at all of our provinces. We are looking quite decent as far as provinces are concerned. Go ahead, upgrade some of the buildings that we can. Right. Muscat is looking quite good. And uh, quite soon, pretty much in the next episode, we should be able to wipe out the Chatramotitai as well as we can initiate our war against Roma. We have just cancelled a military access with them. And so, you know what? I am actually not going to show the war against Chatramotitai. I'm just going to take them out. They're going to be quite easy. I do want to save up as much episodes as I can. So I am actually just going to defeat the Chathramotitai, mobilize all of my armies, let's go to the strategic overview, mobilize all my armies from Scythia all the way into Macedonia and mobilize other armies towards Egypt as well. And then I will pop on to the 18th episode in which we will attack Roma. Roma itself is a massive faction as you can see over here. Pretty much they are the only faction that can boast a rivalry with us. And uh, they pretty much own almost all of the Western Roman Empire's historical territory. Of course, we are the bigger and more powerful faction. We do have nomadic armies. We do have siege armies. So what we don't have is actually fleets. So we'll have to watch out for that. The Roman fleets are going to be better than our own. Uh, however, we are quite looking quite good for now we are a very much satrapal empire as we started out the campaign with the desire to become one and as you can see we have bactria zranka the hake pontus uriai the basilicoi skithii the musket faction as well as the kushites and let's not forget even the achaean league as our satrapy so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine satrapies so that is fantastic and the objective against rome will be pretty much to conquer the whole of italy including the western mediterranean isles and of course get these last two remaining provinces in libya and we will also try to liberate africa we're gonna liberate a numidian faction over here a mauritanian faction perhaps even a carthaginian punic faction over here liberate some iberian factions over here go ahead and even liberate some Gal garlic factions over here and uh, pretty much after that should be done with the campaign however with that i am going to go ahead and end this episode so i thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed and if you like the video like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you are interested for more peace and love